Hey everyone, it's Max here with MFilms2000, and today I'm going to be talking about the differences between Apple's Final Cut Pro and Adobe's After Effects, and really which one is best for you. So I'm sure a lot of you have this question, because buying a new video editing software is a huge leap forward in your filmmaking, um, in the progression of your filmmaking hobby or career, whatever you really want to do with it. So a while back, I really wanted to move up from just using iMovie. I'd been using it for about six years, and it's a great software. It's free. It's um, it's only for Mac, so it's uh, you're not going to be able to use it if you're on a PC. But yeah, it's a great software. It just didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. It didn't have the um, capabilities that I wanted it to have in order to move up into better films and video editing. So... I was battling with the question between Final Cut Pro and After Effects. Um, Final Cut Pro is made by Apple, and Adobe After Effects is made by um, Adobe, of course. Um, Adobe After Effects is for PC and Mac, while Final Cut Pro is just for Mac. Um, take that into consideration when watching this video. So I was pondering that question. It's um, it's confusing because a lot of people don't know. They are both the front runners in video editing. Many, many, many people use each software. But there is a massive difference between the two. I decided to buy Final Cut Pro, and here's the reason. Final Cut Pro is a video editing software, while After Effects is a video compositing software. Uh, what's the difference, you're probably asking? Well, a video editing software is where you compile all of the clips you've taken in a uh, film, all of the ones you filmed, or all of the ones you already have uh, the visual effects applied to, and you splice them into a massive film, and that's your final product. A video compositing software, on the other hand, is the software that you use to make visual effects. You compile all of the individual visual effects on a singular clip or a few small clips, and then you send that to the video editor, and the video editor puts that into the chain of clips. And you probably know the, you've probably seen the difference. I'll put two of them up on the screen right here. So you can see that Final Cut Pro looks very different. There's a bunch of separate clips that are all strung together, while After Effects is a, um, it's, it's a single clip with a bunch of other stuff on top. And so if you're thinking about upgrading from iMovie, hands down get Final Cut Pro, or um, Windows Movie Maker, um, probably get Premiere Pro, because you're on Windows, but if you're on Final Cut Pro, if you're on iMovie right now and you want to upgrade, get Final Cut Pro. And here's why. You cannot make a full movie with After Effects. Maybe you could, but it would be extremely difficult and it would be very time consuming. Um, Final Cut Pro really allows you to do everything. It has built-in visual effects capabilities that are, they're great, they're amazing. I make most of my titles in Final Cut Pro and I think they look pretty good. Um, it's also less expensive um, because you're going to pay a flat fee. I think it's $300 right now versus After Effects is much less expensive in the uh, the short term. But after a while, after a few years, you're going to end up paying a lot more. I think it's um, like $12 a month. And so after three years, you're going to be paying substantially more than Final Cut Pro. So if cost is an option, definitely get Final Cut Pro. And one more con about After Effects. I don't want to sound like I'm bashing After Effects. I love After Effects. I own a copy of it too and I use it all the time. Um, but one more big con about After Effects is that it has a very, very, very steep learning curve. If you're a beginner to motion graphics and um, you know, title design, visual effects, it's going to be a, you're going to have a really rough time using it. Um, I'm pretty good at figuring out softwares really quickly. And it was extremely difficult for me to figure that out. It took about a month for me to really get my grips on it and be able to use most of the stuff in that software. Versus Final Cut Pro is actually a very easy to use software. It really just lets your creativity take control, which is great. That's what I love about Final Cut. Um, if you are good at iMovie or whatever other software you use, uh, you're probably going to be good at Final Cut Pro since it is pretty much like iMovie Pro. I don't want to demean Final Cut Pro by saying that, but it, it really is. It has a very, very similar layout. But now onto the uh, positives of After Effects. After Effects is very professional. It um, You can do anything with it. Uh, after a few plugins, there's a, there's a plugin for everything with After Effects, and you can really do anything you want with After Effects once you uh, get your grips on it. So 
it's very professional as well. Uh, everybody uses it in the filmmaking business. It's extremely common, and like I said before, it's because you can really do anything you want with it, and that's why people use After Effects. It might be very, very expensive and very, very hard to use, but you can do, you know, you have full creative control over After Effects, and um, that's why I like to use it. But say you don't want to pay by the month. Say you want a one-time fee, but you want something like After Effects. If you have a Mac, I can highly recommend Apple's Motion 5. It's great. I use that more than I use After Effects because it's it's uh, the file sizes are smaller. Uh, it's less expensive. It's $50 on the App Store. Um, it pretty much does a lot of the same stuff as After Effects. It's a watered-down version. You can't do everything you can do at After Effects. It's not as professional. Not many uh, filmmakers use Motion 5, but you know it's much more user-friendly. It's much, much cheaper, and it's it, you know it's just it's all around great. You can just throw 50 bucks at it and get a great operating software that works. Um, really well with Final Cut Pro. They've tied it in perfectly. You can you can even make Final Cut Pro titles that are edit editable in Final Cut Pro and Motion 5, and that is just, that's super cool. I love that function of it. So to recap, let's just go over why there is not actually much of a battle between Final Cut Pro and After Effects. Final Cut Pro is a video editing software, which means you splice all the clips together and then you make your final product. There's not much visual effects involved in the Final Cut Pro itself, while After Effects is for visual effects. That, that's what it's for. It's, it is designed to do motion graphics, title design, and visual effects um, on individual clips. So you're not going to be able to make a full movie just with After Effects, which is why Adobe also has Premiere Pro, which is pretty much the PC version of Final Cut. And in addition, Motion 5 is a really good alternative to After Effects because it's cheaper. You can't do as much with it, but like I said, it's cheaper. It um, has smaller file sizes, and it's, it's much, much, much easier to use. It's similar to Final Cut Pro in usage style, and it's really well incorporated with Final Cut Pro. So I hope that I have assisted all of you in um, making the decision of what to upgrade to, what software you should upgrade to, um, whether it's After Effects or Final Cut Pro or Motion 5. And like I said at the beginning, I highly recommend you update to Final Cut Pro because that's actually an update versus a complete change in video editing software. You're changing from video editing to video composition. So thank you, everybody. And I'm Max Weber, and I will see you in the next MFilms 2000 podcast.